Mabuya ni linjani ngalofenda ndi arosha ndi kwa kwa nenda nechishona ndoti makati My name is Chief Koti Welcome along to 263 Africa Sport And today we want to look at uh, some sports here Sports with a difference Of course we want to start with some football in Zimbabwe We can tell you that uh, that league there has gone to 15 games 15 round of matches and then also talking about the Kenyan league It's still in the same zone as well as uh, the Malawian league In Zambia the league there has gone to 15 matches as well they are currently on a break they will be resuming in a week's time so we'll be keeping you updated as far as those leagues are concerned but you know what wherever you are you can tell us what is happening in your sporting world those are the details where you can get in touch with us on our facebook page and on our twitter still talking about the beautiful game football we move on to the fifa world cup that just ended recently Germany took this one and they made it good. They beat Argentina by one goal to nil, but the talking points are not within the final itself, eh? That went uh, to 90 minutes and then eventually went to 120 minutes after extra time. Quite a game it was, that one. But let's talk about Lionel Messi winning that uh, golden ball. Do you think he deserved it? I don't know. From where I sit and my producers here, we think uh, maybe Thomas Müller, maybe someone else. I don't know, maybe myself. What do you think about that? But to take you through a rundown of the winners that offer this uh, particular World Cup, as far as individual awards are concerned, we can tell you that Manuel Noah of Germany was uh, the Golden Glove winner, as well as uh, James Rodriguez. What a goal that was! scored a massive six goals out of five games. What a goal he scored there in the quarterfinals. Uh, he managed uh, to take that golden boot away from uh, German uh, Thomas Müller. And uh, so he is one of uh, the guys that find themselves in that list as well as Pogba, uh, who became the best young player at the World Cup. I never thought he was that young, actually. This is the French midfielder. He was quite instrumental in France's run this time around. But let's talk about the Ghanaian government that is refuting claims by 200 Ghanaian fans that had gone to the World Cup and sought asylum in Brazil. They wanted to stay there after the World Cup, claiming that there's violence back at home. Uh, so I don't know how this one goes. Uh, I know there was a story in Zimbabwe where some Caps United players went down to the UK and they never came back. So on a serious note, guys, I know you would be tempted to stay. Would you stay there and seek asylum or you would come back? I'm just saying, this is Brazil. I mean, I'm talking about all the women there, all the sport brothers there. <laughs> But anyway, let's move on to some more sport here. Coming back to Southern Africa, we talk cricket in Zimbabwe, where they are currently playing against Afghanistan, who arrived in that country a couple of days ago, and they've already played one warm-up match against the Zimbabwe A, and they beat them by 16 runs. Still staying with cricket in Southern Africa, the South African Proteas are currently in Sri Lanka, where they've played a total of three one-day internationals, and they'll be playing a couple of test matches. They are using this one as a preparation for the Battle of Limpopo, where they will be going to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe straight after that tour uh, to play in a couple of one days and one test match. We'll be keeping you updated here on 260 Africa Sport. Still staying with the beautiful land of Zimbabwe. They are swimming queen Kirsty Coventry. They call her the golden girl. She has come out of retirement and she'll be going to Rio 2016. And she's moved to the United States to prepare for this endeavor. Isn't she a little too old for this? Hmm. I wonder. I really wonder. Otherwise, uh, if you are a follower of other sports, get in touch with us. We will be digging and we continue digging here on 260 Africa Sport. My name is Chief Koti. Don't forget to get in touch. Otherwise, Kababe Naduba Labu, the Ribafuna Amanda. Da.